I'm Richard Roper. It's the 50th anniversary of the James Bond movies, and 007 is back in the highly anticipated Skyfall, my review right now. Who doesn't appreciate the occasional twist, Mr. Bond? James Bond. With his prominent ears and his craggy face and his icy gaze, Daniel Craig sometimes looks more like a Bond villain than 007. But Craig has proved to be an inspired choice to carry the torch, and he gives his best Bond performance yet in Skyfall. Skyfall. Done. I'd say this is one of the top five Bond movies of all time. Director Sam Mendes hits the ground and the rooftops, running with an extended chase and shoot sequence to start the movie that defies belief. It sets the tone for a story that's equal parts real-world spy thriller and pure Bond fantasy. Perhaps no other Bond movie has delved so deeply into psychological issues with both Bond and Javier Bardem's wonderfully entertaining villain grappling with their relationships with Judi Dench's M. There's also an exploration of Bond's distant past, and I'll say no more than that. The violence and the acts of terrorism are grounded in reality. An unseen terrorist blows up MI6 headquarters and is revealing the names of undercover operatives. Wounded, weary, and consuming copious amounts of alcohol and painkillers to dull his pain, Bond is in danger of becoming a relic. The new Q looks like he's in high school, M could be on the way out, and Bond's type of field work is considered obsolete in some quarters. But when it comes time to don the tux, enter a casino, seduce a temptress, and oh yeah, fight off a team of assassins, who else are you going to call? This is perhaps the most visually stunning Bond movie ever made. Whether we're in London or some exotic Asian locale, the screen pops with glossy, richly colored eye candy. Mendez finds new ways to showcase prolonged shootouts as well as hand-to-hand -hand combat sequences. You hope that wasn't for me. <laughs> But that is. Bardem is gloriously over the top as the talking villain who talks even more than most talking villains talk. The sporting cast is led by Rafe Fiennes and Albert Finney, and Berenice Marlowe is suitably gorgeous as one of the objects of Bond's affections. Skyfall is almost always engrossing, though it does fall prey to a number of cliches, including some implausible escapes and the inevitable moments when hired gunmen suddenly can't hit anything because that would end the movie. Still, this is a return to form for Craig's Bond after the disappointing Quantum of Solace. I give Skyfall an A-. I'm Richard Roper, and you can get all my reviews at richardroper.com and on Reels.